follow, guys. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a back handspring and a back handspring step out on the trampoline. So I hope you guys can see it nicely with the net lift because I can't bring it in because like obviously I can't do flips and stuff, I'll show you guys. But I hope you guys can follow along and before we get started, remember that do this at your own risk. So if you don't think you can do it, don't attempt it yet because I do not want you guys to hurt yourself badly. So let's get started. So the first thing I recommend is doing a back handspring on the trampoline first before you start on the floor because this has a lot more spring so it's way easier to like land and stuff and it just helps you a bit to get started. I guarantee you if you get it on the trampoline first it's going to be way easier to get it on the floor than just getting it on the floor first. So let's I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So yeah, let's go! First thing I recommend is doing a back handspring on the trampoline first before you start on the floor because this has a lot more spring so it's way easier to like land and stuff and it just helps you a bit to get started. I guarantee you if you get it on the trampoline first it's going to be way easier to get it on the floor than just getting it on the floor first. So let's, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So yeah. So first I'm gonna tell you the skills you'll need for a back handspring or back handspring step. First of all, you'll obviously need a back bend and back bend to like this. Make sure you're pretty controlled on that because if you aren't, your back handspring might look a bit funky. But that's okay if you don't mind that. The next thing you'll need, which is a little optional, but it'll definitely help you get it quicker and better, is a back clean lift. And the last and final thing is a handstand. Now, the reason why you need a handstand is because if you don't have a handstand, you probably won't be strong enough to lift yourself all the way over it, and I'll demonstrate that later. So here's the next thing. Make sure you have a pretty small handstand, and if you're not like this, because that's not going to really help you. If you do that, this is how you're definitely going to do it. Like that. And you don't want that because that kind of hurts. So make sure you have the full handstand like this. Also, I know I already said a back bend, but make sure you have a pretty flexible back bend because if you don't, you might hurt your back knees. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so now we're gonna start on stretching. So the most important parts that you wanna stretch is your wrist because you're gonna be like jumping back from them and you don't wanna hurt it. If you don't stretch it, you don't hurt it. And you also wanna stretch your back because you're arching back. But also you wanna stretch your legs a bit too, just not as much. So let's get stretching. stretched a bit you guys might want to stretch a little more than I did I'm just explaining an example so you want to stretch a little more if you're a beginner especially and again you will need those skills that I demonstrated especially back walkover the handstand is not as, as important but the back walkover is important 
If you guys don't know how to do the back walkover, make sure to go check out my other tutorial, which I'll link down below. So yeah, let's get started on the actual back So, we're going to start with this setup. You want to put your arms up like a line, but don't put your foot in front of you. Now, your arms will go back like this, and then your arms are going to go here, and you're going to come back to this grip. Now that you know the technique, I'm gonna show you guys come back here too. So those are what back handsprings look like. So now some things to practice to get you your back handspring is the first I call back handspring jump back. So you're not actually doing any back handspring, you're back handspring, you're just doing the setup. And then you're falling back, and then you need to jump in the back, like that. Okay? Just do that a couple times. Okay guys, now after you practice all that, you should go ahead and give it a shot and try to do your back handspring. Now remember, be very careful and if you can't do it, just practice those skills more and more and then go give it. So let's try it. Now if you want to do a back handspring step out, you're going to need to master the back handspring and then what you're doing is just letting your leg in first. So it's like jumping to the back wall so like this. See? Ta-da! Okay, hey guys. Okay guys, that's it for today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!